But runes you use, when use them, I find sorcery's many rune path seems better than conqueror. Uh, sorcery is fine. I think sorcery tree in general is better if you're against a lot of squishies, right? If you're, if you're against a lot of squishies, you can go combat and phase rush, it's just fine. But, um, conqueror is, like, no doubt the best option you have if you're against, uh, should I should eat that minion. Conqueror is the best option if you're against more bruisery champions. So, then we has Hecarim, Set, and, like, the Sand is pretty tanky, right? So I went Conqueror this game. The combat's really good against, like, Squishier and Range champions. Yeah, it's a pretty boring matchup. <sighs> this is, like, playing its early game champions. <laughs> this is the realistic. Like, realistically, this is just, like, you know, uh, how it goes. I'm not gonna say this is high elo, like, top lane, but at a certain level, people understand how strong their champions are at early game, and this is, like, the, the cold, harsh reality. So someone earlier asked me why Zarek top, like, recognizes bad. Well, here's one thing. He's really fucking bad early game. Set's very strong, don't get me wrong, but in general, Yarg early game is pretty awful. For me, this also brings benefits in terms of damage, more mana and ability haste. That is true, but Conqueror gives you insane damage if you're against bruisery matchups. Like, you can't dispute it. And it gives you a bit of sustain. The sustain's not that good, but it's like a little bit. And that little bit can help a lot. You have Triumph for clutching out fights. Attack speed for clearing much faster. The, like, some people severely underestimate how amazing um, Alacrity is. You get a lot of pushing power for that. Especially if you're going to Fality, you don't have, like, you don't, you're not going to get any attack speed, right? I should have shoved. So you should not run a good beat set? Yeah, I know. As you scale on, though. This guy's playing so weird. Wow, that inner part hit me? That's kind of bullshit. It's kind of annoying that I can't dodge set W on this ping, but it's okay. We're gonna do about it, right? Complain? Bad set, maybe? This set isn't playing bad, he's playing fine. He could be playing a little bit better by playing more aggressively, but I can understand why he doesn't want to take the risk. Oh, you mean like the matchup against Singed? Yeah, set! Okay, set destroys every single early game matchup, in, like in the early game, right? Like he fucking mores everybody, if you're a melee champion. But as you get it, like, as you scale harder and harder, Singe will outscale, I think. Because Singe can just, like, um, flip you with the- Like, if you try to W a set, he just flips you, right? Yeah, Ooh, that was scary. If that guy flashed, I would've died. I'm not gonna complain, though. Let, he let the wave show off. He can freeze to this three, actually. This one. Yeah, Singe is pretty easy to lane against. Like- there's a reason why proxying on Singed is the optimal strategy. It's because Yarrick fucking sucks. I mean, not Yarrick, oh. Uh, it's because he fucking sucks at laning. Okay, now he has no TP, so I can use TP here. And get, like, I'm an advantage, right? I'll pick X. The only thing I'm worried about is, like, this guy might be, like, flash. Like, E flash ult me. That'll be scary. What are you building? I'm going Hullbreaker. Because I need to go tanky against Set, otherwise he would just maul me. Like, Hullbreaker is, like, a... It's, like, a decently safe option. I can't even walk off of this because he might just E flash out me. If I was playing on like lower ping, if I wasn't playing on 200, I'd probably go more aggressive. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I'm such Garbo. It's good. It's still good because it gives you like damage and a lot of health and it gives you a bit of armor and MR. It's like good if you want like a bit of tanky stats, but you don't want to go like full tank, right? And you still want some damage along with it. It's weird. In between like early and mid game, it's kind of shitty, but once you get in the mid game, it's pretty. This guy's just like, oh wow, he didn't hit. Lane. Whatever. I, re I really like setting the Fowler into set. I was gonna go the Fowler into set, but like, if I, if I go the Fowler into right, I'm taking a gamble here. What is this guy doing? This guy's inting, right? Hecarim. I could have played that a lot better, but I'm too injured. It's okay. So, like, um. Let's say I go the Fowler into set right, and I fall behind. Uh, the game's sort of over. Like, my, my bot lane's giga winning. 6-0. I don't need to do anything. All I need to do is sit still in lane and just wait and chill. That's it. 
you know? I have an issue how to get out of silver. I'm gonna get inhibs two to three times per game. My team always wants to clash banners in game, in mid. Give me a second, actually. I didn't press this all of that because. Give me something. Um. Well, you just like want to enjoy more push more. You do a mix of both. You can go for big herald pushes. I know in like lower elos, I went for huge herald pushes, and that's how I won. But like, if you're able to get first tower and five plates and get herald, you are in a very good position. You should be able to carry from that. Well, not carry, but like get into like a position where maybe you can carry. I'll be honest, some games are just uncarryable. That's just reality, right? That's just reality. There is- some games are simply uncarryable. But you should be able to carry a lot of them. Oh no, Vault, which kind of sucks. It's going Borg first item, okay. In the army, you still TP to the base and end the game? Yeah. I also do that. Wow, that E didn't hit. Fuck off. Yeah, right. And up to like diamond, you can climb something by minimizing your and average your climb, yeah. I mean, if you're winning lane, you should be able to win the game in general. Like, you eventually win more than you lose. Like, top lane's- yeah, top lane's like a- Yeah, you just like chill. You don't really do anything. Oh my god, 300 word essay? What the fuck? I'm not your English teacher, but I'll give it a read. Uh, is there any solution to win with Yara when I'm camped? Three of them play team. I try to split, but three defend and die, and two of them opposing team kill four from my team. Also, mate. Okay, well... The two... When, when people... When your team loses a 4v2, that's not a common occurrence, right? That's not common. Seriously. I have to try to play this. Not another option. Now the chance of me play out playing this. Oh man. If I think if my ghouls didn't get feared there, I could've maybe won it. Maybe I could have played better, but it's okay. Yeah, that, that, those games are like unlucky. You can't do anything about them. But the thing is, they do not happen seven out of, seven out of ten times. And if you do, then you're very unlucky, right? What the fuck? Uh oh. What did my Kaisa just do? What? She has everything up. Tell me like hell. Fucking hell. I go on a lot of I go on a lot of lost tricks as well. What are you gonna do about it? Keep playing. I, I I don't like giving the advice of okay, if you're winning lane and you know you're playing well, that's it. The set incident? More like the Hecarim incident. What do you mean? I haven't died once to set yet. What? What is this? What do you mean the set incident? I saw they killed him. The fuck? Maybe this is the set incident where... I gotta get this food. Uh oh. Ooh. Did he not press the W button? Yeah. Okay, here's the, here's the thing that nobody tells you. Um, you're gonna fucking lose. You're gonna fucking lose no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. You're gonna lose. You could be a fucking challenger player, best player in the fucking world, but because it's season 12 and you're playing top lane, you're gonna lose. Hell, you might lose five games in a row. Yeah, but the thing is, right, like, a, lo a lot of people are, like to say this, right, where my teams are so shit, I can't carry them. And I'm not even joking, the advice is you're probably not playing as well as you think you are, even if you are winning lane, and um, also, the only- or, and if, if that's not the case, then it's also because you just got unlucky. You just gotta play more. You just gotta play more. You, you eventually win more than you lose. Yeah, the rank 1 player will fucking- like, they'll lose as well, right? Like, you know, you guys know, um, who's that guy? Bo, I think? Oh my god, look at the plates I'm getting. I think the guy was, um, yeah, Bo. Like, the jungler for Vitality, I think? Um, that guy lost games. But everybody was like, this guy's just a fucking god, right? He's like, destroying solo queue. He's still gonna lose games. He's still lost games, right? Also, like, even if you, like... Okay, also, there's a huge misconception as well. There is a difference between... Um, there's a huge difference between knowing how to get a lead and knowing how to snowball with a lead as well. As well. That's like one of the most important concepts I talk about in my NA climb. 
Right. That's my issue. If I lose, I'll run down the next 10 games in total. My biggest issue... Like, my biggest issue is... um, What's my biggest issue? I get tilted of the enemy... Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I get tilted... I'm making tilted like, ah, oh, that's so fucking annoying, you know? But I don't get, like, play, like, really bad. I think I autopilot a lot. Because I react to chat a lot as well. Uh-oh. We can fight this. Yeah, this is good. Help me, Kaiser. Hey. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Sweet! Best advice, to be honest, is watch your own advice if you can be bothered. Yeah, that can also be a thing. On another big advice, I I mean, okay, here's the biggest advice. I'll, I'll frankly be honest. The, the only reason I didn't get as tilted, like when I climb to Challenger, right? Whenever I do really big climbs, the only thing that makes it so that I don't, like, the thing that doesn't make me tilt is some games, I will make one fucking mistake. And if I lose the game, I will to myself be like, if I didn't make that mistake, maybe the outcome of the game could have completely changed. A lot of times I do that. Oh, sorry, a bit loud. A lot of times I do that though, right? Like, let's say one part, right? I don't get a solo kill or some shit. If I got that solo kill, maybe I could have carried. Maybe I could have carried. I'm gonna submit it now. Yeah, yeah. Also, that's also that, right? If you make a mis if you make one mistake, like let's say your entire team's inting, right? And you make one mistake and you're the fed one. That's your fault. That's not your team's fault. It's your fault. You fucked up. You threw the lead, right? You gotta know, you gotta know that. You gotta acknowledge that. This is how it is. As like one of the, I don't know which Korean pro said it, but like, let's say there's a, let's say there's like a super jack dude, and your teammates are a bunch of skinny dudes, right, who are not very good at weightlifting, and you're you're like carrying a log, right? You're carrying a carrying a log. You're the main strong one. You gotta carry a log. If one of your teammates dies or something, it's fine, right? Because you're gonna be carrying it. If you like fuck up, and you drop the log, you, you fuck the entire team over. You fuck everybody over, right? You have that responsibility, so use it. Use that shit. My reading's essential for slip pushing. Knowing, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things really important about slip pushing, right? Snowballing clearly is hard. Snowballing is hard, but knowing how to use a lead is hard as well. Yeah. <laughs> you dropped a lot on your teammates. <laughs> What? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, Beaver. Um, around level 13 is when Hullbreaker gets like actually pretty decent. So first item Hullbreaker is like when you when you initially get it, it's pretty good, and then it doesn't. It's sort of eh. But when you hit level 13, that's when it truly sparks. Cause then the armor and MR goes fucking ridiculous. Gives you so much tankiness. Like when I was climbing as well, even on low elo on NA, I was losing a lot of games as well. I was in lost streaks. All right? Doesn't matter though. You're gonna win. Holy fuck, that guy's. <laughs> that kind of scared me. Oh shit, I might be in thing here. Oh, me. oh well, this is a bit... Ah, I'll take the death, I don't really care. I probably could have lived if I just backed off like in T2, but whatever. Not bad. I missed my glory days when I was stomping 500 LPs and I Triforce into Yomlis every game. I miss Sangon Blade a little bit sometimes. I missed the patch where Yorick ghouls with E the double damage. Double fucking damage. It was a nasty man, dude. There's a lot of stuff I missed, not gonna lie. Sometimes, even though I was really bad, sometimes I miss Old Herald. Old Herald, where it made your auto attacks, not all your auto attacks, it made it so that you get like, like a sheen proc. God damn. Most fun ever was Banner Command. In my opinion, the most fun time I had on Yorick was double damage E. Just cause like, for one patch, I got experience how to, like how it feels to be a fucking god, you know, like a genuine god. What do you mean god? Patch eleven point seventeen. I'll never forget. It. I think it's eleven point seventeen, right? Don't remember. The patch where Yorick was, where Yorick e did double damage. That was the one time where Yorick was, not even arguably OP or oh, bad TP. I would have fired that so hard. And then kill Zillion. That was a really old part TP. Yeah, but I was just insane. I was playing level 5 mid, one-shotting people level 2. 
You could all in somebody at level four with four ghouls, and nobody will fucking kill you. I mean, nobody would beat you. It was, it was literally unbeatable. And then I just scaled like harder and harder, and ghouls did more and more. It was so stupid. I remember like I had one clip where I was just like one shotting tanks basically. It was so funny. Well, if you can, like I said, build the vine. Yes, you can. You can take whatever you want, build whatever you want. It's just like some things are better than other. Lost Lane vs. Set. If you... I mean, we're even, right? I, I definitely beat him in the 1v1 right now. Depends on you define as losing lane. Overall uses, those, overall usefulness for this game, though, I would... Yes, that's pretty mo more useful. What kind of so hard? I agree. I think Block should get nerfed. But I don't know if they're going to nerf it. So I'm a good yes. Book users can use a lot of uh get a lot, yeah. Dude, I hate Renekton. Ever since people started like rebuilding Bork and Renekton, the matchup's so fucking annoying. Cause you just have to go one and smell every single game. Like he left lane of more gold such usefulness than you. He does not have more gold than me, but he's more useful than me. I have more gold than him. Set here or set bot? Uh, you put in Tarzan game on the tuba? Yes. This is pretty good. Oh. Why is he so fast? Why is he so fast? The fuck? Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, the goose! <laughs> oh, the goose! That's pretty funny. <laughs> I got creep block? What do you mean? You got hit by the fucking wall, you stupid? I can win this if I play it well. Woo! We're partying hard! I think I can win this. Yorick Marie! Yorick Marie! Get out of my face! Wait, what? Oh my god. How the fuck? I didn't. Oh my god, that's funny. That's so funny. This game is just dumb. This game is just so dumb. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense, honestly, this game. <laughs> what is happening? This game just makes no sense. It, it feels like nothing I do this game matters. It's just like, either Yorick split pushes and wins, or he doesn't and we lose. Like, it just, this game makes no sense at all. Don't you ever speak to me again. God damn. Now, now in terms of usefulness in this game, I think I might be a bit more useful, just by a little bit. I'm gonna shove this wave one more time, because this way they have to, they have to worry about bot side, right? And I'm gonna back now. What the fuck is going on? I might have to stay bot to pressure? Let's see if sets here. Step back. Okay, I can get a sour. I can get a sour. Oh no, I can't do anything. No. How has Yorick not got nerfed to hell? Because he's not broken. He, the funny thing about Yorick is he gets countered really hard by meta champions. I'm gonna top him. By like meta top, meta top laners. No one can match you up now? Yeah. I mean, I can still fuck up really hardly. Like really hard. What the fuck can I do about it? I can't be four. Okay. Oh, this guy's build so bad. Not only to go rapid fire cannon and collector, he went rapid fire cannon and collector. This is so hard to face top lane. This is an easy matchup for Yarik. I don't understand what's with the people struggling with Lilia in top lane. It's really easy. What you need to do is land your E and W, and it's really easy to land E. Because it's easy to land E because you just she's gonna walk up to Q, right? Use E. 
And you just put the W around her because now she's slowed, right? That's it. It's, it's still that hard. Everybody's all yeah, Yarek is really good against AP champions as a whole. Oh, that hit me. God, she does so much damage to me, but I didn't walk into him, so. Double his sword. Like, I don't understand. I, I'm not trying to be mean, but what are people doing that they're losing the, the ability of matchup? Right? Because it's like really easy. I'm okay. Oh, I don't have any ghouls on me. I'll try to get one tower. I'll die for one tower. Oh, it's actually not worth it. Maiden? 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 Okay, that's good. Maybe, that's not worth maybe. This guy got a lot of money for it. That means I already feel burdened unless he cares. She has crazy MS and her spinny thing has a lot of range and max damage. If she has... It, okay, it's a bit of range, but it's like... It's good enough range where... Like, if you look at your E, right? Your E is fucking huge. Because, like, if you if you basically just put it at, like, a, like the base of it, right? You, it lands super fast, and it hits her super easily. I think AP once I don't like his Cassio slash Rise plays really good mechanically. I don't like... Yeah, I, I don't like Cassio Rise as well. I think Kennen... Kennen isn't hard, but if the Kennen has a brain, you can't ever kill her. You can't ever kill him because he just ease away every time you land you or some shit. Yeah, also that as well, Tabriel as well. But like, even if you really struggle at landing the E, um, with Yorick against Lilia, just put the fucking box around her. You know? He's pushing Kennen for free and can't do shit. Uh, yeah, it's it's like even matchup. It's 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 just like you can't have a snowball at all. It's like really annoying. Oh, that was really bad. Just leave. My team's just gonna chill. That mistake might cost us the game. I'm not gonna lie. That mistake might cost us the game. Yeah, not gonna lie, this Zillion Hecarim is pretty nuts. Like, that combo is pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah, if Lily, Honestly, even against Lily, you don't even need max W second. Also, I think... I think one of the biggest base about Yorick is maxing W second. I don't think you should do it. I think 3 points W is always good, but maxing it fully... It's like... Uh, unless some matchups. Some matchups you can, but most matchups you don't need to, because they're just like... Yeah, holy shit, that damage. Whoa. Uh, get a tower here. Now, uh, this is the problem where I can't hit the game, no way. Dude, the ping! No! Oh, I was hoping that Nocturne Vision would have, like. Did I ward? Oh! Shush. Everyone shut the fuck up or you're banned. Oh, I think I lost the game. Oh. Ooh, that was good. Ah, oh, not good enough though. Okay, I can maybe. Singed. Oh my god, the singed matchup. Oh, I, I think single-handedly, singed matchup is the easiest matchup for Yorick the entire game. I think that is the most one-sided matchup in the game, probably. Can I sell this for Triforce? Oh, I can't. I think Vladimir is even easier than singed. Okay. Vatami is not. There's no way that's normal, right? <laughs> Whatever. I mean, do. Okay, Vatami is not easier because. Okay, I think it's. I've, I've, I've always said that is an easy matchup, but then I recently thought about it. After um, you land E on Vatami, right? When Vatami pulls, your ghouls lose aggro. And I was like, wait, that's, okay. If the Vat's good, I actually think they can actually outplay that. I'd be considering. And I think Singe is easier because just, he just has no damage. The only thing Singe is good for is setting up for his jungler. But if his jungler doesn't come, then it's unplayable. Why is everyone just dying for no reason? Come on, guys. I play against Elite 500 many times so slide and I can be stomped. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna lie. This game's hard. I might be dead already because Hecarim is really in this part of a very weak combo. There is one salvation. 
there is one salvation. Do I have time? I have to go. Guys, I wish you the best of fucking luck. I wish you the best of fucking luck. Guys, I can't ult here. I have to ult for Nexus. I'm a criminal! I'm a criminal! Chain me up! Lock me up! Fucking arrest me right now! I'm a fucking maniac. I'm a criminal. She doesn't what, she doesn't oh, why isn't she out though? I'm so There's no way. There's no fucking way. Oh my okay, I don't <laughs> I don't even